Okay, so these guys have convinced me to run this reaction myself. So this is a uh, reaction that even your PI can run. And so today what they're going to have me do is make a, a quaternary center. Uh, not an all-carbon one, but nevertheless a, a quaternary center. Now, what's cool about this reaction, I think, is that you, know, you would expect that enol ether to attack right here to do a mugama michael type reaction, but instead, and make quaternary center by joining that carbon atom to that one. To make this product, and they're going to up the ante a little bit, so we're going to do it in whiskey. So let's get started. So we need um, to measure out our substrate. And Julian is my, uh, I guess, sous chef. So he's done all the cutting and weighing out. So all I have to do is measure things out and add them to an Erlenmeyer flask. Cinnamon whiskey. Uh, the students tell me they like it, particularly when the chemistry is not working. 30 mils. smells a little bit. You might have a little bit of the ketone in there still. Yeah. Okay. Here goes the catalyst. Next we're going to put some sodium phosphate in there. Folks, that's it. Now all I have to do is put it in the whale bath. Then we're going to take a little intermission. We're going to check CLC, and we're going to come back in a little while. Okay, we're back, and it's been about one hour. And you'll notice the color has changed just a little bit. <laughs> it's time to work up. So here we go.
Okay, there you go, guys. Here's the TLC. You see, it's a little bit, a little messy, but I, I mean, this is kind of, I, who knows what that is. Could be something from the whiskey. Uh, but there you go. It's authentic product. Uh, we will purify it in an NMR, make sure it is the product, but it sure does look like it. Okay, that's it, folks.